In this video, you will learn how to change the row background image on mobile or tablet using Beaver Builder. The problem is that once you get your page layout just right on desktop, it might not look quite right on a tablet or mobile device. The good news is that there's an easy way to set your mobile and tablet backgrounds to show a different image or swap the image for a background color. Let's head over to my WordPress site and I'll show you how. Here we have a nice background image that looks really good on our desktop. However, when we load the page on mobile, you can see that the same background image no longer looks like it should. Fortunately, you can change the background image as well as the background image settings for each device size by using Beaver Builder's responsive editing mode. Responsive editing mode lets you preview pages as they appear on medium and small devices and edit them directly in that device size view. This allows you to see exactly what your page layout will look like on small and medium devices. Go ahead and click on the link found here in the top navigation to open up our page layout in the Beaver Builder editor. Next, we will hover over the row and click on the gear icon to open up the settings. In the pop-up under the style tab, scroll down to the background photo section and here next to photo, you will see the image that we have uploaded for our background. Here you will also see an icon for the desktop view, which happens to be the default view. Go ahead and click on the icon and it will switch to tablet view. If you click it again, it will switch to the mobile view. In this example, I think the tablet background image looks pretty good, but we definitely need to update the background image on mobile. Now that we are in the mobile view, we can click select photo to change the photo. Here we will choose a new photo from the media library or click to upload a new one. While in mobile editing view, you can also adjust the repeat, position, attachment, and scale. Once you have adjusted your image, go ahead and click on save. And let's take a look at our website on mobile and see what our background image looks like. And I think that looks good. If you prefer to change the background image to a color for viewing on mobile devices, I will show you how to do that by adding a line of code to your layout CSS. Let's go ahead and open up the Beaver Builder editor. And again, we'll hover over the row and click the gear icon to open up the settings. Note that there are a couple of other ways to access responsive editing mode in Beaver Builder. The first is from the tools menu. We can scroll down and click responsive editing. Or in the Beaver Builder editor, we can simply type the keyboard shortcut R to toggle between the device views. While we are here in mobile editing view, go ahead and scroll down to background color and choose the color you wish to set for your background. I always like to set a background color when setting my background image in desktop view, just in case the image doesn't load or in case the person viewing the website has set their browser to not download images. In this case, they will see the background color instead. Next, we will click on the advanced tab of the row settings and scroll down to the CSS class. Add the CSS class to the row. In this example, I'm going to use bg-color-mobile. Next, we will copy this bit of code found here, which I will link up to this page in the description below. And once we've copied the code, we can head back over to our WordPress site and in the upper left corner, click on the tools menu and scroll down to layout CSS. Click here and paste in your CSS code. Note that you can add this into your style.css sheet or wherever else you'd like to add your CSS. Now, any rows with the CSS class bg-color-mobile will have the background image hidden on small devices and show the background color instead. Go ahead and click save to save your changes. Let's take a look at our background color on mobile device. And that looks really good. To keep watching, go ahead and click on the next video. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, 
be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.